This one's easy to remember because you guys all have balls. Okay. And it's a mushroom. Thank you, Tsunami. I really am so much happier. It's crazy how meeting some people in your life can have such a positive impact. But don't tell him that because ego, his ego is going to grow. Um, so this is a mushroom. So if you skewer it this way, right? You're not capturing most of the mushroom. But if you skewer it this way, you're capturing all of the mushroom. That's why if you have pawns that you need to like defend from promotion, like this is where it can potentially become a queen. And the pawn is like chilling over here. Then how is it gonna help you if you try to skewer it from here? So... That's why you should be skewering it from here. <laughs> this way you get all of the mushroom. And this way... <laughs> this just is a mushroom this time. <laughs> and this way... <laughs> Can you explain the analogy with the balls? Yeah, I'll do that too. And this way... You get, get the pawn on every single square it is. Along this entire file. Like, are you guys understanding this? You guys don't understand, like, how life-changing this is, for real. Because, like, this is a very secure way. Like, this is the most secure way of getting a mushroom, right? Like, if you get a mushroom this way, the mushroom is not gonna shift, like, off. But if you skewer it through here, then it can accidentally break, because these parts are not very thick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ski, you're getting on time now because it's funny. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> so I didn't want that much crowd to be on the end of the skewer so it far more quickly. <laughs> Chanterol. <laughs> so... <laughs> It can never run away from you because it's still skewered. So like, <laughs> bro, I need to skewer something now. I don't have anything to skewer because I don't have food. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> the reason this came to mind is because I went grocery shopping yesterday and I saw a bunch of skewered mushrooms and I was like, yo, I should really get one of those. So... Um, okay, let me give the balls example. All right, balls example. Okay, the balls example. The, this is the um, two advantages concept, okay? You need two advantages to win game. This one's easy to remember because you guys all have balls. So, you have one ball. But there is a piece over here. <laughs> okay? <laughs> this is a doggo. And he's guarding this ball very happily. <laughs> oh, you guys can't see. Okay, well, let me move my camera to the other side. Okay, this is a doggo, okay? He's happily guarding this ball. All right, so you are over here. And you want this ball. You want this ball, because it's the bigger ball. So there's a smaller ball over here. 
Okay, wait. You have a smaller ball, okay? Whatever. Okay, so this analogy is getting more specific now. If your opponent has one advantage that you want to win, right? And you want to win. How do you get that that bigger advantage? You create a smaller weakness or you create another weakness. It doesn't matter how big this ball is. It can be huge. It can be whatever. But you create another weakness. You give the ball. And then the dog has to go get that other ball. So then you can go get this bigger ball. And that's exactly how it works in chess. <laughs> like, that is literally the point. No, it's not because the dog is stupid. It's because he wants to get, like, this dog, the predetermined condition for this doggo is that he has to have... If there's a ball, he has to go get it. That's how chess works, right? If you're like attacking your opponent and you're about to checkmate them, but they are able to defend, well, guess what? They are able to defend. But now, okay, let's say this is an obora. This is an obora, right? This is a barn. There's a, this is a cow over here. Dude, I can't draw cows apparently. Okay, anyways, this is a cow. This is an obora, okay? Right? So this is an obora. <laughs> okay, so this is an obora. Yeah, you can also strengthen the force you already have, but this is the, I'm very specifically teaching you guys the principle of two weaknesses. This is an obora. And the only thing protecting the king in here is this cow. Well, that's not a lot of protection. So you march your pieces over here, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> you march your pieces over here, think you can go defend. But your opponent is in time. He, the king calls over his army of cows to come defend. <laughs> At this point, I don't know what these are. <laughs> Okay, those are cows. Anyways, anyways, he calls them over to defend. Okay, so he has an army of cows. <laughs> okay, so now the cows are coming over here, they're marching, but this leaves this juicy piece of land. They left this piece of land that they were guarding. So now we send this guy no longer to the opera and he goes to claim this piece of land because these cows went over here. <laughs> like this is the principle of two weaknesses, yeah? Do you know, um, wait, wait, wait. Cao Cao Zhou. Wait, this is a San Guo Yan Yi thing. It's from China. Oh, wait. I can do this. I can do this. It's a, it's a story and that's in Chinese. This is when I understood the principle of two weaknesses was from this Chinese, um, like history tale thing. So, okay. Three. Nations, China. <laughs> An anonymous Yo, anonymous, thank you. Uh, Cao Cao. I think it's Cao Cao. An anonymous user okay. A tier one sub Story account. about three... Three kingdoms. An anonymous user gifted yeah, a three kingdoms. But like, okay, screw it. I'm not gonna remember this. Oh, yo, thank you so much, anonymous, for the gift itself. Thank you. I'm not gonna find it right now. <laughs> but it's a Chinese, like... Lore. It's Chinese lore, okay? An anonymous user gifted a tier one Basically, what go, what went on here, right? All right, let's uh, let's get else ourselves some more drawing space. Yo, thanks so much, Ray, <laughs> for the prime. Thank you. Okay, so basically, what happened is there are three kingdoms. This is one. This is another one. And then there's this one. Okay, so these two kingdoms. 
Okay, but this is the concept of distraction, but it still kind of pertains. It's like... Okay, anyways, this is like the principle of distraction. Okay, so... These two kingdoms are friends. But there's this bigger one that wants to bully this one. So they start sending troops over. Now, if these two countries are friends and this one wants to help this one, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I read Romance of the Three Kingdoms, I just don't remember it right now. Send troops to assist, but what if I told you you're not gonna get here in time? Then what are you gonna do? <laughs> attack the bigger one! There we go! So you go attack the bigger one! And then these guys have to come back, and then this country is saved. See? You guys just learned the concept of... Distraction. This is how I learned distraction, by the way, guys. This is literally just tactics. Like, if you've ever read Art of War, you don't realize how many, like, associations you can make from that book to chess. <laughs> now, obviously, I dumbed it down a lot, right? <laughs> okay, so you don't need cows. Why do you like mushrooms now? <laughs> And I don't know what I want for dinner, to be honest. And I saw a mushroom skewer yesterday that looked really good. So that was the first vegetable, whatever it is, that came into mind. But I mean, that concept of like skewering rooks is like very- Nemo, you're a pipperu less than three. Yo, thank you, Justin. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, this is literally the concept of distraction. So. Yeah? Makes sense? This is literally distraction. Why is this about cows? It's not about cows. I was just making an example with an obora. An obora is just a barn. But like tactics can be understood very easily through um, a lot of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Shafi, thank you for continuing your gifts, though. Thank you. Yeah, my friend is losing his game, she started fighting with the Odin. Yeah, absolutely, that's exactly what I should do, so. No, but I mean, this pertains to chess. Okay, okay, once again. Okay, let's say this. How do we apply this in chess? Okay, next lesson for chat, okay? Chess. Application of the above lesson. Okay, I'm running out of paint space. Application. All right. So the application for this lesson is, um, all right. Let's see. Uh, basically, if you have, the board is eight by eight, right? So let's say you have a king here. <clears throat> and your opponent is... Okay, so this is the entire board. Okay? This is literally the entire board. This is this square over here is A1. So it goes 1 to 8 through here, and then A to H up here. Right? So that's just how a board works. Um, so basically, if you're gonna start attacking, if your opponent starts attacking you, all right, start sending in the troops. Queen is coming in with uh, the heavy forces. Heavy forces coming in. Right? Scary as hell. Actually, this is not a good example because you're actually probably fucked if it comes to the, down to that. But, but, 
let's say you didn't have time. Oh wait, what? This is such a small pen. You didn't have time to castle because you're because this guy was so busy attacking. So the the concept of do you guys know this concept of when your opponent's attacking you on the flank? So let's say the two files are here in the center, right? These are the two files in the center of the board. And this side is basically the other side. So if your opponent's attacking on the flank, but your king is still in the middle of the board. Nice, sip ship, nice. Um, okay, so. Wait, I actually messed this up. Wow. Smooth your king? No, that's not what's going on here. Thank you for pointing it out. Woman Grandmaster, by the way. Knows how a board works, by the way. Has an entire tournament in like four days, by the way. Hasn't learned how the board works. Okay, so if 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 these are um, this guy's pieces and they're all going here, but this guy's king's the center of the board, and your pieces are still kind of like here. What do you think is faster? Yeah, when you attack, when you get attack on the sides, you should start attacking the middle of the board. <laughs> Why is the king exactly being durex? That's not important. <laughs> like it's not important. Okay, look, it's the same concept as this, right? Like if this nation was sending people over to attack this nation. And you want to protect this nation, you just start attacking this nation, they have to come back. <laughs> so, if you can attack on the flank, you have to open up in the center. Especially if your opponent's king is in the middle of the board. Because then he has to divert his resources to come counter this attack in the middle. Educational. Yo, I got a little. What is this? It's a doggo. That's so cute. <laughs> Most creative adaptation of Art of War. <laughs> yeah, the supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy with a fight. Okay, I don't know about that one, but but for real, this is literally how it works. Like, chess is not that different from real life. Okay. Do you guys understand this concept though? Like that's what I'm asking y'all. Do you guys understand this very important concept of distraction and how to counterattack your opponent in the middle of the board? Do I watch Technoblade? I have no idea what Technoblade is. Sure. Okay. Some of, some of you guys understand. Hard, but yes, but hard to do it. <laughs> like, you just gotta do it. <laughs> you just gotta do it, bro. Do we play the pieces? We're playing the pieces at the top. This is us. This side is us. We're getting bullied. Our king's getting bullied. So we're getting bullied because we're bad players, as usual. Like the guy who got, who lost four games to Benjamin Bach today. We're getting absolutely bullied. So then what we're gonna do is start attacking our opponent in the middle of the board. So this guy has to start retreating his pieces to protect his own king. <laughs> Mess, but that's not the point here. That's not the point here. Okay, I have another really important concept to teach you guys. Okay, so we've gone through the two advantages. This is the two balls. Okay, I'm gonna make a test for this. Do you guys understand the two balls? This is the most important. Like two balls goes into this, which goes into this concept. <laughs> Do you guys understand two balls? <laughs> Please see this is my bog chomps for students. <laughs> I just said anything. Two balls. 
You throw balls at people, I think so. <laughs> Can I distract him from the doge? If you pet the doge, you're distracting yourself. Right? Like, if you pet the doge, then you're literally distracting yourself. Your goal is to get a ball, not to get the dog. You want the doge. Uh, sorry, you want the ball, not the doge. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> we want the bigger ball, yeah. <laughs> Hell nah, bro, Tsunami. No, we want to get the ball. Our goal is to get the ball. That was a condition. Okay, anyways, I have another story to tell you guys. So, uh, this is also Three Kingdoms. So this is a boat, right? And this is the enemy's boat. And over here is our boat. <laughs> okay, there's another song. <laughs> the SAT. It's actually a very well- yeah, this is from the romance of the Three Kingdoms. Um, okay, so, basically, our boat, this is us. We ran- so basically, we have a bunch of archers, but we ran out of arrows. Now, how are we gonna get more arrows? Unrelated. Well, this is kind of related. This is kind of related. We cropped our own more arrows, but we're in the middle of the sea. Like, how are we gonna get more arrows in the middle of the sea? <sighs> okay, by the way, we have more than one boat. I, I, I wanted to mention we have an entire navy, but I was just too lazy to draw the boats. So anyways, we have an entire navy. They also have a navy though. We both have a navy. Okay, so basically in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, what this dude did was he made a bunch of like dummies, put them on like poles basically, and then sailed it close on a misty day. And those guys basically shot arrows when the boat got here. And obviously like they were trying to, sh they were shooting to kill our guys, right? So they shot, shot at the dummies, and then their arrows just stuck in these dummies. And then the one guy who's steering the boat steers it back. And all of a sudden, you got arrows. Okay, so why am I telling you guys this story? <laughs> Where do you make the dummies from? <laughs> Stop asking questions. Is it not dangerous? Wait, did I run out of space? Oh shit, I actually ran out of space. Okay. Okay, um, all right, I'm running out of space here. Okay, let's just zoom in. Okay, so anyways, the reason I'm telling this story is because this goes back to the example I wanted to show you guys when I was uh, five years old, right? If you know you need two advantages to win a game, Right? If you know you need two advantages when you're to, to, to win a game. But this dog is smart and you don't have a ball. <laughs> what are you gonna do? How do you create a weakness? <laughs> Get another dog. <laughs> the dog. You gotta get creative with how you're gonna create weaknesses. So the reason I'm telling the story is actually because if you if if you can't if you don't have the resources sometimes to create another weakness in your opponent's position, what you can do is bait them. Now, obviously, the dude over here is a freaking dummy, right? Like. He has no idea what's going on in life. If he was smart, he would have realized these are not dummies. He wouldn't have shot the arrows and then wouldn't have given the arrows to us. But this guy's a dummy. So sometimes you gotta hope that your opponent's a little bit dumb too. 
But anyways, my point is, in chess, you can bait out weaknesses, right? You can literally bait out weaknesses. Uh, so like, for example, what's a major way of baiting out weaknesses? <laughs> Application time, exactly. Okay, how do you bait out weaknesses? Like, what's an example when you're baiting somebody? This one is very classic, actually. C3, for example, castle. And then you play bishop to g5. You get them to play h6. And then all of a sudden this becomes a hook, right? Or especially when you play some si certain Sicilians. And for example, like here, here, here. H6 pawns a hook. Yeah, these are called hooks. And like you just long cost or something. Play bishop here. Playing something like a3, well, I mean, this is just lost because of that. But the idea is that in a lot of Sicilians, now I need to remember which specific Sicilians had this hook thing, hook concept, but it's a very common hook concept. Um, like the line I play actually with, a, with uh, a6, a3. This becomes a weakness later in the game because of b5, rook here, and then b4. Yeah, the time on off. This is basically what it is. I just don't, I can't remember the exact lines. But these become hooks because the main reason is you see how in the other line I really didn't like bishop to b4. So sometimes you gotta create these weaknesses. But you don't really need to play this if you know the theory. It's just that I'm too lazy to learn the theory. So you create this hook and they're forced to play bishop to b4. Uh, sorry, you're. I'm trying to stop bishop b4, right? Tournament in a week. Yeah, has no idea what's going on in life, by the way. So, this is this becomes a hook. So sometimes in life, if you don't have the resources, you can bait your opponent. For example, another example I can think of this is putting your knight somewhere, getting them to kick it out, and then you just leave. And then all of a sudden they have a structural weakness, right? It's like knocking on a castle door. Or like you know, just just like getting getting more um just like literally just there are so many ways you can bait in chess. Exchanges, such certain captures, getting them to try get, trying to get them to get into an inferior pawn structure, for example, is a massive bait sometimes because you have to be, they have to be really precise with how they want to capture. Um, attacking, the biggest bait, obviously, like I want to go back to this, right, is, is, is still this example of distraction. This is the biggest bait. If you were the one doing it, like what if you reverse the way that this worked? And what if you were actually the one? So once again, three kingdoms. got three kingdoms so you actually want to attack this one okay and you know like, these two guys are friends but you send a little bit of troops make it sound like a really big thing and then all of a sudden this guy is sending all of his troops over and then you have people hiding over here and then you just go boom Does that make sense? Like, like literally, like you, 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 sometimes you can make it seem, well, no, these are just people that are literally like just camping here, whatever. They got little tents, but they're uh, incognito because they're using Brave Browser. In chess, it's harder, but you know these concepts. Yeah, exactly, Henny. Yes. So like, Examples, this might work. Karpov <laughs> has some really, 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 really good games like this, where he's able to play on both sides. 
Yeah, but, but that was the first one. This is another example. These kingdoms are not related. <laughs> I mean, these are foundational strategic concepts for basically any game. Exactly, you're literally, when you are playing chess, you're a war general com commanding an army. Do you guys not see this? <laughs> like, do you guys understand it? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna make this into a Twitter comic post. I mean, I think, like, like, these are literally just like, this is literally just war in life, you know? Well, I mean, not so much anymore. But, like, this is literally how you should be approaching chess. And, like, if you can grasp these kind of things, you'll win every game. Because this is how you just win. This is literally how you just win. Like, apart from the, my mushroom skewer on the top, this is this is not really related just when This is if you fucked up the metal game and had to go to an end game. <coughs> really, Gabby? That's kind of cool. Nice. <laughs> True trap. So. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is literally, you just need two advantages almost most of the time to win a game. Whether it's pair bishops, and an outpost or they have a backwards pawn or if it's like oh uh, usually having one pawn is a whole is enough it's like two advantages for the most no that's not true actually depends on how much material sometimes oh, having an extra pawn is not enough to win the game so see principle of two advantages usually having one extra pawn direct in a wreck end game as we all know not every wreck end game is uh, a win for us right so that's another thing to consider, like for example, uh, we know that this is just not winning for black. It's just not winning. You have one advantage, you don't have two advantages. But now if all of a sudden you have another pawn. Actually I think the pawn has to be here. Now it's winning. For black does that make sense like <laughs> like am i making any sense <laughs> except the bow one okay <laughs> like you see how it's winning now but it's not winning if this is gone look at this like it's just making sense like it's just winning if you have two advantages like it's a principle of two, 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 it's a principle of two advantages or your opponent having two weaknesses. Like, it's really cool once you understand this. <laughs> I know the way I think about things is not exactly the way a lot of other people think about things. Um, but yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff. This last beat was key, okay. I'm glad to hear that, I'm glad to hear that. This is my next lesson going on to YouTube. Learning chess with Nemo for four-year-olds. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna explain this one more time. No, 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 I'm not doing that. Um, yeah, absolutely, Gabby, absolutely. <laughs> They're legit four year olds better than you. True. Improved by 400 yellow watching this. Nice. Is this how people explain chess to you when you're three? Yeah, it was.